Mr. Speaker, it's just incredible to me that coming off of a corruption trial where the governor's right-hand man was convicted of corruption, where there's indictments pending and um, a trial pending of the governor's leading economic development team, uh, bid rigging uh, accusations, um, corruption surrounding the Buffalo Billion and a number of other projects throughout the state uh, that this House, the other House, and the governor couldn't come to some sort of an agreement for some sort of enhanced disclosures, transparency, accountability in the failed economic de development policy rife with corruption uh, that this governor has promoted for the last seven years. I just can't fathom how we're not accountable to the people on something as crucial as this. We're talking about billions of dollars, billions of taxpayer dollars that are being wasted through fraud and corruption that the U.S. Attorney's Office has uh, investigated this administration, has indictments upon leading figures in the economic development schemes that the governor has put forth, and yet we still, after years of seeing this level of corruption, can't bring ourselves to insist on some simple measures, like a database of deals, like reporting requirements for Startup New York, like procurement reform, like public officers' law applying to REDC members, that we can't get any agreement on any of those bills is unfathomable. And we need to make sure that there is accountability and transparency in these programs. And by not having that in there, we have failed. We have failed as a body, we have failed as a legislature, we have failed as a government in the state of New York to protect the taxpayers' dollars. And I can't vote for this because of that, and I don't think anybody else should either. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.